you please good morning <coughs> it's another <coughs> lovely monday on the 5th of february <coughs> excuse me Mark. on this overcast day but dry i've just been through my car wash and my taxi because it loving needed it right let's talk about the um the middlesbrough game the point um Lots of positives, lots of negatives. I thought Sunland they started off very, very brightly. I thought they were the better of the two sides. Um, to be honest with you, the majority of the first half, I thought we were uh, we were passing and moving the ball well. Um, it was good to see our new signing Hedgy, or if that's how you pronounce it, like I say, he was immense. He was immense through the game, fantastic, as well as uh, Jack Clark. Um, but we were creating chances but obviously bar you've got to put that in the back of the net son when you're at this level and we'd, I keep saying this on loads of streams and loads of videos I do we're continuously like seem to be just missing these sitters I mean they're not just like half chances or quarter chances these are like the goal at your mercy and we all said the same thing. Why didn't he just put his laces through it and just smack it? Blow the ball to smithereens and burst the net. You know, and I think we could have gone on and won that game, to be honest with you. But it didn't happen, and it was um, it was nil-nil at half-time. And then, the second half started. And for the first... Wait, 25 30 minutes we just sat back rolled over bent over and just took it up the the pat pipe we, we were just off and we, we just sat back and we just thought come on then come at us come at us come at us um we couldn't seem to string a pass together um i don't know what team talk uh, michael bale gave us at half time, it was almost like he turned around and went, Just take it easy, lads. Just take your time when you get out at half time. Just I want you to slow down, I want you to play negative, and um, you know, don't go for the win. Just just don't try second half, just you don't need to, just don't bother. That's almost what it felt like because Middlesbrough came out second half, like rocking up the backside. So Carrick's obviously laid right into them, and then they were a complete different side. Um, it was just awful, boring football from Sunderland to watch. It was just absolutely awful. And there was no movement. Um, like I said, there was that many missed passes going. It was just crap and the frustration was building. And then what made it worse, we uh, we should never have had a foul given against Neil when he was dragged to the ground. You know, he was put shirt was pulled, he was dragged, and then they got a free kick and to rub salt on the wounds, they scored from it. And it was an absolute world class goal. You know, I've got to give credit where credit's due. That was a superb goal from Middlesbrough. And then of course, one nil down, and that's where the frustration started to build in with the Sun and fans and that because it's like, look, the second half just isn't good enough. The second half is just nowhere near good enough. But Credit to Bale, he brought the subs on and they worked. We had dropped down a cog, went into another gear, and we started to play football again. And for long periods of time, in that last 20 minutes of the match, we were pretty much on top. And Clark, he well deserved the man of the match. He was running them ragged down the left. He, uh, he tormented Luke Aaron, Aaron like you wouldn't believe. Um, and then that lovely diagonal ball, that through ball that seeks Rushit Rusin. And me, and I think a lot of fans included, were like saying, Oh, I didn't shoot from there, man. What are you doing? You're going to waste a chance, you know, at least get into the box and that. And when he sh when he, when he, he hit that ball, it was like a delayed reaction. And then I was expecting it to just fly out with a bar or gone wide or hit the advertising boardsman's at the back. And then when I seen the net bulge, I thought, Bloody hell, Fire's actually scored. You know what I mean? I was just totally took by it. It was it was a 
people say the keeper should have made, done better, possibly so, but it was a quality strike and it was his first touch. Rusin's first touch, if you look at it back, it was absolutely sublime. It was great to watch, great to see. And he took that ball into the keeper's bottom left, right into the post, and uh, it was a hell of a strike. Um, and then Sunderland started to come into life, didn't we? We thought like, we've got this. And we actually had a sniff that we could go on and win it. You know, Middlesbrough couldn't cope with us when we stepped up. Um, we started playing some lovely football. Um, they couldn't land on us. But of course, the time was running out. The clock was ticking. Um, and then the referee blew for, for full, full time. And it ended up being 1-1. And um, I can see I come back at the at full time after the stream. I was a I was a, a happy chappy, put it that way. I thought, yeah, I'll take that point. I'll take that point. Considering what I was like half an hour into the second half, um, I'll definitely take that point at uh, at the Riverside. And um, we could have won it. Uh, nice to see Jack Clark get the the man of the match. Great to see Roos and get the goal. Great to see. The, our new signing at the back, Hill G, Hedgy, 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 whatever. He had an immense game. And uh, it was a hard fought point, that. So, got to give Bill credit where it's due. We had that blip in the second half when he made the subs. Uh, and we came out and um, we, we, we did the business. But there's a lot of things going on. People fancying, should we start Rusin or should we not start Rusin? I mean, He's not doing himself any favours bar, is he, by missing cities like that, put it that way. He's not doing himself any favours whatsoever. He's got to put them in the back of the net. If he wants to sort of get the fans onto his side, he needs to pack it in. <laughs> missing cities like that, it was like side foot. No. Anyway, I've already gone off of that anyway. But I think, as you can hear the noise at the uh, riverside, it was all the Sunderland fans singing. They were the happier of the two fans, without a shadow of a doubt. You know, we were even singing, is there a fire drill, which is quite funny. Certain different game for when the uh, reverse fixture at the stadium were like, where they beat us 4 out, which, of course, we had a man sent off, which changed things. Um, but, yeah, I, I was happy at full time. And um, <coughs> some fans say, forget, about, forget the playoffs. We ain't good enough for the top six, but I don't know. We're still there. We're still there about. We've got um, a home game coming up next against Plymouth, and I'm never gonna say it's an easy game because it just ain't one. And and I'm not gonna ex say we're gonna expect to win that game because we don't. You don't expect to win any game. You've got to earn it. You've got to do the business. Um, we didn't get to see um, Mundell come on. But he's maybe he's, uh, just saving him for the Plymouth game. And of course, the other chap, Styles, he's just recovering from um, an operation having his appendix out, isn't he? So, yeah, there we go. I thought, you know, Clark deserved man of the match for me. And um, it was nice to see Sunand have the, the last laugh, even though they were harshly done by <coughs> for their free kick. Oh dear me. So there we go. Not a bad performance, apart from that blip in the second half. A well earned hard fought point, I would thought. Because we never do well down there. To get anything from there is good. So thanks for watching the live stream. Thanks for watching this video. I'll reply to your comments below. Um, and anything you agree or disagree with, I'll reply back. And we'll see you later, folks. Ta ra.